What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 HD Edition Part 2. Last episode we played on the easiest setting. This will be just kind of like a, a very short um, like mini series uh, that we will be playing. There's a lot there's a, a lot of things that I need to do. <laughs> there's a lot of content out there. I need to make. I didn't say it was good quality content, but I have to make it nonetheless. So, completely random teams. We're having a death match. Standard, random map, giant. Last time we were on the easiest. We're going to go to standard, moderate, hard, and hardest. So this will be five parts total. Um, actually, we won't do that. We won't do three hours long. Today, will actually do the campaign. So we have Age of Kings, the Conquerors, the Forgotten, the African Kingdoms, and the Rise of the Rajas. Ah, yes. How long is this stuff? You must install or purchase the following DLCs. Okay, so it just gives me... Okay, so all these three are DLCs, so we'll just do Age of Kings and the Conquerors, and, uh... Oh yeah, there's oh yeah, there's a bunch of different shit here. So we'll Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll we'll we won't even do like a, a regular gameplay anymore. So we'll start off with William Wallace learning campaign. Uh da -da -ba -ba. You could skip ahead to new features such as garrisoning and uh Okay, yeah, so we'll start off with William Wallace. Marching and fighting. Maybe I'll put this one out ahead of the uh, the other one. I don't know. Probably not. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a... We are without a leader. We'll just skip all Dead that. king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Rabble. Well, we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. Aye. Huzzah. Follow the instructions to reach Scottish village. Okay. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Yes, of course. And follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Got it. Good. Now, right click near the blue flag. Good. Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier. Then right click near the flag. We're moving. Excellent. To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Moving into the black area reveals more. Let's keep the going. Black. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around. Them. Then Destroy this outpost. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click. The I'll probably put this out first. Right click the outpost to attack. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Keep following the path to the village. Okay, I'm here. Is this the end? 
That's the end of my conquest. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you will have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. Huzzah. Victory. Ah, oh, yes. Quit. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. I feed in the army. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. We'll just My breeze right through this. Farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Aye. Yeah, there are 50 wood golden. Yep. To My support limit. the Scottish army, you'll need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood, okay. and 50 gold. We can do that. To gather food from the forage bush, pick a village. Yep. S speed this up. So then I can get somebody else and we can start working on some wood. Because it's going to take forever. We're just going to sit there and wait for him. We'll just breeze right through this campaign. Good job. You now have enough wood. Then right click the forage bush near the blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying ten food. Good! You found some gold. You're well on your way to making a city. I win, right? Excellent! You now have enough gold. The villager will continue where the amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. We did it. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France. We're going to move through this William Wallace stuff real fast here. Ruthless. He's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle. But it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Long Shanks coming. Aye. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, or bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers. I got it. Don't you worry. I got you. Train for militia. I can do that. We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villages. Click your town center. Barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks. Then click the create Objective militia button. Change. That's one militia unit. Create three more. And you'll now that you have a few soldiers. Look at that. You'll be able to defend this area. Reason right through. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But face it, Longshank's army will be another matter. The 
wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. Airplanes. Nuclear bombs. Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even ah. now, our smiths are forging swords, and Fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. William Wallace. Mel Brooks. To win, you will need to advance fuel age and repel the English raids. I can do that. English use very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. That is fine. I can do that. Researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. To research loom, I'm in the feudal age. The town center, then click the research loom button. Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the dark age Everybody to the in. age, you need 500 points. English are no match for your warriors. Do I win? We did it. We're just steamrolling. Longchamps has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone Keep of Scone this. and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle. Waiting for the great battle, the Battle of Stirling. I think the Battle of Falkirk is the big one. Uh, in the movie. And in real life. Longchance is poised to cross the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men at arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Here we go. Let's get this underway. Defeat the English army and destroy their tower. I'm on it. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food. And you can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Keep making villagers at your town center. And build me a dock. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Now that you've reached the fuel village, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. Nice. Now, click the dock and build a fishing ship. I did it. Fish. Click a fishing ship. I know how this works. Click on a leaping fish. The Treating fishing me like a child. Collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. 
in the barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Yes, thank you. I appreciate all the advice you gave me that I do not need. Not enough food. That's never a good sign. You get to work on that. Get over there. Get me some fish. Not enough food again. What do I need? 100 food? Give me that food. Thank you. 150 food. Hundred and fifty food. Hundred food. Take that. What are you doing? Give me an archery. And give me a stable. Get me this stuff. Come on, one more. Hundred food? There you go. Give me that gold a lot faster. There are 50 food. Come on, fishing boats. Just make the rest of them get out there. Get to fishing. Come on. There we go. That should be enough there. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties. Yes, yes. Don't know where they are. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Nah. Nah. I'll know. This will be enough. Don't know where they are, though. See if we can weed out the enemy here. Let's keep moving. We are getting close. You're close to an English base. You better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about twelve soldiers. Close enough. What a sad wall. Come on, guys. Some manpower into it. Kill him. There we go. Oh. We got two slashes on us. That's okay. To the tower. 
This is the tower we must shoot. You are not shooting at the tower, please leave. That guy especially. Send some scouts over. Tis just a battle. Here comes the cavalry, literally, rushing on in. Why we're not doing any damage, because everyone's just too focused on houses. Yeah, that'll go down. Wait for him to jump out. Kill him. Good Get him. Job. You've eliminated the English soldiers. Destroy that tower, then our victory will be complete. Vi victory destroy indeed. The English camp. The battle of Sterling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play yes, around the map. Yes, I have played, but this episode will probably come out before that. as we're doing the campaign. English defeated. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word came in that the Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now, we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the Hammer of the English. Edward Longshank's name's Wallace a traitor and a criminal. But Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor, since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Didn't they get stomped the though later on? Fortunes is about to turn. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. That is fine. We need to construct the market okay. and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Okay, I can do that. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. <laughs> Acquiring okay. these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Okay, we're gonna have to build a monastery too. That's fine, I can do that. Gain three relics. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation's starting to look up. Did you know that oh. there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Hmm? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. Give me that relic. The morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally yes. has another relic. In the English. So close, like it's right next to me. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Good! You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right clicking the monastery. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. You have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Get some trading routes here. Sell food for gold. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. 
barns are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. You made a trade card. If you click the trade card on your allies' market, you can make extra gold. Your trade card will automatically make trips between your food. and your allies' market. Okay, to that, to that. 150 food. Come on, let's go. Let's get it done. Found a sh some sheep. You've reached your allies' town. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your allies' gate will open automatically for you. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your yes. ally, the yellow flyer, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. Uh, to trade, you'll need to build a market. Already did it. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Okay. Well then, we'll send a scout that way. See if you can confirm that. Perfect. You can uh, slaughter the sheep. Okay, got that. Waiting on that. There's a lot of stuff on the map. I'm gonna have to send a monk over there. E this way, old noble one. And now we wait. 175 food, we'll get that in a second. 800 food, 200 gold. We can do that. Ah, yes. There it is. I'm gonna need you to go grab that relic for me. So, where is the last relic then? You'll go that way. Sheep. Go towards the mill, so I can slaughter you. Anything over here? Nothing? Go that way. More sheep found. You'll go over there with that nice lady. What was I doing? Oh, right, right, right. 800. Damn, homie. The English are attacking our town. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. To tribute your ally, click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of your screen. Give your ally some food and gold, but don't give him everything you own. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, of course. Um, 
Send you guys to get down there. Go get them. You have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering their realm. You can use the technology Two. tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click yes. the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Yes, I'm well aware. Actually, if you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. I'm actually going to build a dock. Yes, I know. Being under attack. Okay, got that. Ouch. That hurts. We'll have him go over there. We will wait. He's just standing out there. Still haven't found anything. Go that way. And they kill him. Thank God. Maybe we'll be able to find something. Two hundo food? Come on, guys. What's everybody doing? Nothing over there. I probably have to, yeah. I'm probably gonna have to attack the English. The English. For this. Stone. Stone, 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 stone. There's gold. I'll have somebody go mine gold. Oh, there's stone right there. Congrats, you're on stone duty. Get out there. Make me proud. University. He's got his gold. Not enough food. Fishing boats doing enough over there? 250 food, 150. Makes them less vulnerable. No, 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 no. 200 food. Oh. 200 food. 215. 125. Thank you. I can buy some food. I got quite a bit of gold here. And it's fine. I'm making more gold than what I know what to do with. Let's see, what else do I need? 250 food again. 250 wood, 160 gold. I got a lot of wood here. 
food, 300 food. I can buy some more food. Gold. Thousand food. 220, 120 gold. I got a lot of wood. Might as well put some of that to use. This man has not found any relics. Because it's in there. I'm sure of it. You guys can come back. He's only down to 180 left, so I don't know how long that'll really last for. 150 food, 150 gold. Thank you. Not enough gold. Slowly getting gold. Sell some of this wood, man. I got a lot of wood here. But we got enough for a uh, castle. Just plop that right there. 300 food, 200 wood. Don't have enough wood. 350, 100 gold. We can afford that. 200 food, 100 wood. Bring back one more and 100 food, victorious. 250 wood, 200 wood, 200 stone, 200 food, 200 out. Check, check, check. 250, 150. Check. 230 food. Wrong one. 230 food, 100 gold. Thank you. Wood Raiders. 300 food, 200 wood. 120 gold. A lot of gold. Hundred food. Jesus, man. It doesn't stop. You guys are done. Let's see, what else can I do? I might just have to get a bunch of villagers. Uh, they control like all that shit over there though. Let's send them back here, see if we can find anything. Maybe there's something back here. Anything? Shaking the whole thing around the place. Nothing? Shit, man. Um. Sure. Get to chopping. Meanwhile, what do you guys find over here? Just more forest. Typical, typical. Three hundred food. Food is going pretty slow. Anything here in this kitty corner? Nope. Okay, so we'll. Put a mill. Get all that wild boar meat. And it's gone. Got, got some nice food there though. 
I'll tell you that much. And we'll just let that kill that wolf over there. I don't want to have to deal with it later. Check, check, check. Need a lot of gold. 200 wood, 300 food. We got that. 200 food, 200 stone. We got that. Mills have been done for a while. What is this? Again, 800 gold. Oh. 1,000 food. Getting there. We could probably sell a lot of this one. Cut it close. Ooh, just barely. Not enough food. What's a thousand food? My bad. Well, we're not gonna have much food for long at this rate. It's gonna be a lot of farming. A lot of farming, folks. Check. I guess I can do that. We're still making gold. <laughs> Not enough gold. Sell some more of that. And you guys are just gonna be my runners. You guys are still chopping. Check, check, check. You guys are all chopping away. Bombers. My fishing boats. Still fishing. Have you guys move out here a little bit. course they're gonna make me have to go to the uh through that English all that English I guess I can have somebody make a siege workshop put that right over here too that'll come in handy don't think there's anything else on that list I don't have. Nope, I'm good. Not gonna need it. No walls. Come on, boys. Give me all that gold. We'll just... We'll just... Put a castle right at their doorstep. Because I can. Okay. Hmm. And uh, I'll just have you start clearing that out. Thank you. Got enough gold. Thousand food. 800 gold, so we'll get rid of... We have enough food now. We just need the gold, but we'll get it in a second. Got that. Next age. 1600 gold. That was, um... Or fitty. 800, 500 gold, 300 food, can do that. Nothing there, nothing changed in the mill, 1,000 gold. 500 food, 600 wood. 200 gold, 500 food, 350 wood. Wood, we're just going insane with wood. We got a lot. We got a lot of it. We got food, 200 gold. Six hundred food, four hundred gold. We just don't have enough of anything, so we're just gonna have to keep selling wood. Just 
waiting. 275 food, 300 food, 150 gold. Six hundred food, four hundred gold. I'm just gonna have to get more villagers in here for farms. Oh. Nope. What I wanted. I can build a wonder and win. Not enough food. Thank you. I got enough. I got enough wood to sustain these farms. I got enough trees. Jesus, dude. I don't have anything else, though. Thousand food. Eight hundred. Seven hundred fifty. Four hundred. 150 and I can do that. Absolutely. Just go in there, guns blazing right now. Good. Thousand food. That ain't happening. 800 food. That ain't happening. That's a thousand food, too. A lot of food required. 750 food. Don't have. 300 food, 200 gold, I have that. 500 food, 600 wood, 500 food again. 600 food, 1,400. 200 and 300, I can do that. 400 food and 500 wood, I can do that. I can just start popping away over here. I just need uh, some more food. It's 150 per ship. Mm. Me no likey that. 300 food, 100 gold, six, fuck, dude. Nope. 900 food. Just going up. I'm just gonna have a bunch of farmers. It's gonna be my whole industry here in a second. Fuck, might have... might as well be my whole industry. I need you to build the mill. I need somebody to work on that. That is his mill. That's someone's mill. Just a lot of farming. Just a bunch of farmers. This could be my hottest commodity. No way will it pass wood, though. Not enough food. You guys are gonna have to move a lot faster than what you are. Just spam the whole thing till it's filled. Thank you. 500 food. 500 food again. So we're at 265. Let's see how fast that moves. Okay, so that's 50. Okay. He's gonna have to move faster than that. I'm gonna have to buy some food. Bye, bye, bye. 300 wood. I can do that. 1,000 gold. Thousand gold will probably be pretty fast, faster than seven hundred fifty wood. It's a, uh, food, maybe. Shit, I this right. Wait, they're gonna get there at the same time. Food's going through the roof. Not enough food. No, seven fifty, and now. Thank you. Did that, did that, did that. Check. Mills, fine. 
900 food, 500 gold. Okay. We'll just uh, sit here and wait. Big industry going on. Big, big industry. That's us. Look at this. We're just going out of our way to get stuff done. 1,000 food, 800 gold, 750 food. Damn. Shit's expensive. Um. Move that over there. I would like you to come over here. Build me a nice mill right there. I'm gonna have somebody kill these deers too. I'm gonna have them do that. I need all that, f all that food. 300 food, 100 gold. I can afford that. 750 food, can't afford that. 300 and 600 gold, can't afford that. 600 food, 400 gold. Nope. I can't afford that now. 400 food, 300. That would, though, man. Give me the... F yeah, all of it. That one, too. All the meats. Okay, got that. We will now move over here. We will build a mill in our friend's backyard, because they're moving real slow. Scottish allies. Yeah, oh Jesus, we're at 50 minutes now? Yeah, this game got a lot longer with this campaign than it than it uh, probably needed to be. Am I gonna farm on there? On their territory? I don't wanna sit there and farm on their territory? I mean, I can. Sure. They're all running. They don't want to be shot. Unfortunate, though. We'll wait till she gets back. I'll run back over here. Ouch. Shut down. Couldn't make it either. Back in my room. What's been happening since the last time I saw only that much? Give me that. Not enough gold. We gotta sell a lot of this wood. We'll just sell it all. We're gonna make it all back anyways. Compared to everything else. Might as well open up the whole map too, see what they have. If they don't have a lot, we're just gonna charge right through the door. Perfect, I think I only need 1600. What do they got? That's all they got? Yeah, we don't need anything then. We'll just, uh... Not enough gold. Sitting here waiting on gold. Population has been reached. Hold on, I want to see something. A thousand stone, a thousand gold. I have any stone though. Okay, so max is 75 for the campaign that I'm currently doing. We'll sit here and wait. Get out of my territory.
We'll start getting a monk over here ready. Oofshka. That was it? That was sad. Goodbye. We'll just all have them follow. We'll just let the trebuchet do that. But yeah, see, we're almost at 10,000. This this is my mistake, guys. I'm so sorry. I got way too in over my head. I apologize. We'll get that monk his, uh, relic. We'll sit here and wait. Okay, and we will take it back. So long and farewell. And that was it. Didn't even need to waste my time with all this. Waste everybody's time. With all of this. My apologies. It's a lot of stuff we got done. Maybe too many things. We need to research all this. Not enough food. Or anything. And he'll place it in the monastery. Monk's healing up. Gotta go around everybody. Congratulations! We did it. You've captured all three relics. Scottish allies have been defeated, but there are allies. On to the last battle. Safely in Scottish churches. Then murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland Aye. now has archers and knights of our own with which to meet long shanks. Aye. We march south to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. One castle. Just get a trebuchet. Get a trebuchet. Alrighty. Here we go. The only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces, and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. Aha! Build a castle. Destroy the English castle. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Oh. Okay. So, build a gate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that, we did it. Battle stations! If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. And there's just one champion. Ah, nobody cares. Oh, I need to advance myself. Not enough food. Eight hundred food. 
Go get there. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. But I just got no wood. I just got no wood there neither, sir. Nobody cares. Just destroying outposts. Ain't nobody care. Um. Great. Got a stable. Got a barracks. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age. Yes. The castle age. Yes, thank you. I already have that. Oh, I have a blacksmith. I didn't see that. No, no food. Not enough food again. Thank you. The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. Yes. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near it. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the oh, screen. Hey. Look, we Using didn't build a... Buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard... That's awkward. We didn't uh, finish the wall over here. Not enough food either. I didn't realize that. We'll just have somebody finish that. Whoopsie daisy. I'm gonna have to buy some food. You have enough resources to go to the castle age. You should do that soon. Yes, Long thank you. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Why is everybody gonna tell me what to do? Allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect the weak unit, oh, such as a monk. Oop. Not enough wood. Work, work harder. Wallace has come. Oh. Okay then. your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more Wode Raider. There he is. The champion, William Wallace. All we have to do is defeat the English any way possible. Not enough food. Thank you. 65 gold. Get on it, somebody. Oh. That's awkward. I don't have any uh, places for gold. Eh. <laughs>
William Wallace and his old raiders on your side, the English may be in trouble! Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go. Destroy the English castle. Burn it all to the ground. 215 and 91. Easy. Easy again. Are massive siege weapons with a great range available only in the Imperial Age. Remember that trebuchets must be packed to move and unpacked to fire. Yes, I uh, know this. Thank you. Sit here in defensive stance. Um. Not enough food. Need food for these guys? I'm joking. They probably have a tower. If they don't, I might just send a bunch of infantry to attack the gate. Where your gate's at. Yikes. I took out half. Perfect. Let's have a... Uh... I want him to attack that gate. And then, after that, I'll just, uh... Stream everybody in. Not enough food again. I got plenty of wood to make up for that. Lack of... My queue is full now. Let's see if this breaks the gate down. If it does, I'll just... Set in a stream full of, uh... It does. Gate's down. Just 80 food. Where's all my food at? Not enough food even to hire more people. That's tough. We gotta get some of this stuff moving. Sixty food, thirty five food, twenty five wood. Ugh, everything costs so much. Ah, nobody cares. We'll just send you guys in. We'll send these guys in too. There goes my outpost. They don't want anything to do with my... Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm just going to, uh, just build a castle right in the front door. going to... Uh-oh. My villager. Shit. Well, who wants to be my next villager? 
Perfect. I got a plan for you. I want you to just build a castle right here. Everybody must die. I won't even need William Wallace for this either. That wasn't too bad. Just getting shot down. Give me all that gold. Ooh, I got that right. I just flood the place. That man just so rudely attacking my tower. No mercy. Just kill them all. out here Good job. With your new seed workshop you can make butter and ram. Rams are slow. Nah, I just want to arrow fire and excellent at not down the scorpions. Walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. Get him. Ouch. Goodbye. It's not even fair. Oh well, sick and tired of these English fucks. I think they can just take whatever they want, do whatever the fuck they want. Not today. Crashing down to the ground. There goes the barracks. This is what happens when you think you're all cool and you want to battle. Ooh, actually. I want to see something here. Uh, it probably won't make a difference. Oh, 
Good point. I'll just have them all just attack. There. Um, can I move on to the next? Thank you. Damn it. No explosives this time. Hot damn it. Ooh, actually, good point. Just get a trebuchet in here. Wait for somebody to die. Get over there and get me out of this campaign. Let's go. Been staring at the screen too long today. Let's get it over with. I like how they're destroying everything but the castle. That's fine. Trebuchet. What else you got around here? Nothing exciting. Thank you for your contribution, and down it goes. The is no more. We've done it. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. We have the done it. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. We did it. The Scottish win. Aye. It looked certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet, somehow. Though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one will be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forged, of course, in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will know fear. Aye! We did it. William Wallace, The Learning Campaign. We have four more to go. Episode two will be Joan of Arc. Hope you all enjoyed. Have an amazing day.